In Luke 17, Jesus once again, we find him healing the sick and teaching amazing concepts on the kingdom of God, on faith, and for this morning, forgiveness. Listen to what Jesus says in Luke chapter 17, starting in verse 1. It says, One day Jesus said to his disciples, There will always be temptations to sin. But what sorrow awaits the person who does the tempting? It would be better to be thrown into the sea with a millstone hung around your neck than to cause one of these little ones to fall into sin. So watch yourselves. If another believer sins, rebuke that person. Then if there's repentance, forgive. Even if that person wrongs you seven times a day and each time turns again and asks for forgiveness, you must forgive. Here's one of the great things about being a disciple of Jesus. We have been forgiven. We've been forgiven. And as we have been forgiven, so we too should forgive those around us. Jesus speaks not just here of an attitude of forgiveness, but also that our actions matter. Here in Luke chapter 17, he talks about, you know, it would be better for one to have a millstone, a big heavy rock, tied to your neck and for you to be thrown into the sea than for you, maybe through your attitude or your actions, to cause another one, specifically a little one, to sin, to fall away. See, here's this great paradox of being a Christian. We're forgiven, so we also forgive, but as those that are forgiven, we're also called to a standard where we lead well. We only do that through the giving of God's Spirit, through His power, through His might. But it's oh so important to recognize today that we're forgiven and that as we take our day and live it as unto the Lord, may we do so in such a way where we don't cause anyone to sin, but just simply point them to Jesus. For Jesus is the one who can rebuild and restore, and Jesus is our ultimate forgiver.